In this video, we're going to talk about some very basic um, machine architecture for a computer, and particularly uh, parts of the architecture that relate to what we'll be talking about in compilers. So we'll start with uh, the different major parts. We have the hard drive or the secondary storage, which is slow memory. We have main memory here, which would be like your RAM. So let's label that main memory. And then we have registers here those are fast memory and that's there's a limited amount of memory there and then we have the cpu so the cpu does all the processing and it needs to use values and so it gets those from main memory and from the registers if um if we have a a, a variable or something like that that we want that we're going to be accessing a lot, we definitely want it in a register. So for example, if we're programming in Python, if I say for i in range 100 and print i, then I want to, I'm going to be accessing the i a lot, and so I'm going to want to put that i into a register like that. Uh, Otherwise, if, if we're not accessing it very often, it can, it can be in main memory. Let's talk about main memory and the different parts of it while, we, um, while an app is running. So when you start an application or app, um, say you load up Microsoft Word, what it's going to do is take all of, take the program, the Microsoft Word or the Google Chrome or, or whatever, uh, program. It's going to take the code from the hard drive and put it into main memory so that it can be accessed quickly. So the code portion of main memory has all of the instructions on um, how to run that app. Then we have uh, three important parts of main memory. We have the static part, the heap, and the stack. So static is going to hold variables that are static. So if we're programming in C++, if I say static int i equals 3, then there's going to be a piece here, let me put that in a different color, um, a piece in the static area that will have the value of 3 in there. And the nice thing about that is you can access that variable from anywhere in the program because it's not going to change during the program, whereas the heap and the stack do change. Now we need to be careful with the um, static area, because what if we do what if we do something like this static, and and we have, you know, maybe a million um, integer array. Uh, so static int a r r. What is going to happen there is, and I'll change colors again. Um, now I have a large portion of the static area that's taken up by that array. And that's a problem because you only have so much static um, space. Then we have the heap and the stack. The heap, well, let's start with the stack, actually. Um, and that's where you're going to get something like int j equals 4, if you say that. Now, notice the difference between this one and this one is here we have the static keyword, which puts it into the static area. Here we don't have the static keyword, so it's just going to put it on the stack. And we'll talk a lot more about the stack as the course goes on. Um, but if I do something like this, let's say I have um, a, a class called dog, and I say pointer to a dog, call it Fido equals new dog. And we'll pass it the name Fido. And again, we're in C++ here. Then what's going to happen is we're now going to have a, a variable on the stack. So before we had the, the j, so we have j equals 4 here, so we have value 4. Here we have Fido, and what that's going to equal is an address. And that address is going to point to the actual dog, so Fido, that was allocated on the heap. So it was allocated on the heap because of the new uh, keyword there. Okay, so the heap is going to grow, the stack is going to grow, and they grow toward each other. If you have a big stack, it will uh, take up, you know, more of the free memory, um, and and 
they'll grow toward each other. Okay, so the one other thing I want to point out is is memory is linearly accessed. Um, it's not a multi-dimensional array. So what do I mean by that? Uh, memory is going to be a single dimensional array of words. And it's addressed, you know, in, usually we, we talk about it in hexadecimal. So for a, um, you know, maybe 4B, um, depending on the size of your word. And so that means your code here might have from um, address 0 to maybe address FF. And then the static area might be FF to, um, you know, AE4 um, or something like that, and so on. And so we're linearly addressing the uh, memory array.